Lionel is amongst his peers on the boundless space station when he receives a message. Glancing down, he quickly dismisses it and tries to nonchalantly leave for a moment of privacy. He ducks into his office and sits down and quickly scans his desk. Upon spotting a small communicator, he taps nearby on his desk two times. A voice comes through the transmitter, low and compressed. Is the room clean? The voice asks. Not a speck of dust in sight, Lionel responds. Are the lights off? Roger, the voice answers. Begin the report, Lionel says plainly. Deliverance lied about the common front's involvement. They were nowhere near the shepherd's crook. But Deliverance is trying to keep this under wraps, meaning whoever did it must be important enough that they can't spin this in their favor. Most of the likely agents are Deliverance members. Their prime suspect is Velius, a top general in their ranks. However, I've found that another possibility exists. Svava Juror, another member of Deliverance. She does not have the luxury of rank that Velius has, and Deliverance may have overlooked her. That's certainly not a name I hear touted much from them. Velius, though, I know of. But Svava couldn't have worked alone. Initially, I thought IPSN may have been involved, but Garth's been having me look into them as it is, and I haven't found anything that may have linked them to this incident. I did, however, find a mercenary group that had done a mission for deliverance around that period. A mercenary group? Who was it? The Hex Girls. Them? You know them? Yes. They're quite skilled from what I've seen, and... Not the types who would roll over for deliverance, as far as I can tell. I think we may have our culprits. When you asked me to look into this, you said you were doing this investigation for the Comet Front. I was. I promised Coram dear that I would find the truth, but... It might be better to keep this under wraps until I know a better way to use it. I don't think I could throw the Hex Girls under the bus. Even for Coram dear. Fair enough. I take it you still want the physical notes, though? Yes. Even through CL communication, I'd prefer not to throw out too much sensitive info. Since Garth is here, I'll talk to him as an excuse. He's probably got some SSC documents he wants to give me, so mix your report in with that. Gotcha. See you soon. With that, Lionel presses the communicator beneath his elbow. Built to be disposable, it turns to dust even for someone as lithe as Lionel. He sweeps the remains into the garbage can and gets up, leaving as casually as he can.